What's up guys and welcome to F1 2019, this time in HD baby, that's right. So the quality of the face cam has been dramatically increased. Uh, previously with the way the room was set up, I had to use a little webcam up on top of the monitor. It really didn't look very good, but so we're using my main camera now. It's a bit of a different angle, but hopefully you guys like it. And so uh, we are here for the Spanish Grand Prix. So uh, let's get it, man. Here we go. We've got some, uh, some practice happening here. I'm gonna go with the track acclimatization period and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out here dude i'm kind of getting a little bit of a late start this morning because i spent the first hour and a half two hours of this morning watching the um the austrian grand prix holy cow what a race as of when i'm recording this they still haven't said what they're gonna do about the whole leclerc verstappen situation whoa 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 okay we don't hmm we don't have any movement or any pedals. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, we're back, we're good. I, I think I had to disconnect the wheel from the, the Xbox while it was on, so maybe I just like switched to controller controls or something like that, but uh, yeah, dude, that was, that was. I mean, I, I'm still just kind of starting to get into F1, but a lot of people are saying that that was the best race of the season. Uh, Verstappen went absolutely off, he went ham after that bad start and um, I don't know, he had, he had impressive driving there. In terms of the actual incident, I mean, I don't necessarily know enough to, to make a, a correct call. Obviously, there are people with way more experience than me. Personally, I would like to see you let people race. I, 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 I don't know. I, I hate to see races decided by people in chairs up in some boardroom somewhere. Like, I think that's kind of stupid. But at the same time, rules are rules, and if they were enforcing that rule a certain way the entire season so far, then they need to, to keep it consistent. Like, you can't you can't switch things up whenever you feel like it, so... I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Um, he didn't really leave room for Charles to get back on the track, but at the same time... Sometimes, more aggressive racing like that might be more fun to watch, you know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Oh, we got DRS there a little bit late. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we are at, uh, at the Spanish Grand Prix here. Circuit Catalunya, I think they called it. Gonna try to get used to this thing. It looks, uh, looks pretty intense so far. Lots of corners. Not a lot of, not a lot of straights at all, from what I've seen. And, uh, hopefully we can do pretty well. Good work. You seem to have a solid handle on the lap. Let's try and perfect each turn. Remember that chaining good corners together will give you a consistency bonus. All right, so it sounds like we did pretty well in that first lap. I was kind of talking and thinking about what I wanted to say rather than focusing on driving, so I think we should be able to put up a much better lap here. I'll let you guys know how we do, and then it's going to be time to head to qualifying. Yikes! That's uh, that's not really what you want to see there, huh? I don't know that there's anybody else on the track here. That was not ideal. We were, had a perfect lap so far up until that point too. It was like all purples all the way through. So definitely, uh, definitely need a little, little more practice on that. One shot qualifying, baby. Here we go. This is our chance, and we're starting off P14. That's not good. Looking like we're pretty slow in a straight line. We're gonna step this up, come on baby. Gonna have to make up our time in the corners. Back up to P1, that's where we wanna be. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a, a fairly challenging track for me with all these corners. Gotta stay focused the entire race. Don't, uh, don't get complacent, don't get comfortable. Cause that's when you make mistakes. Up here. Alright, looking good so far. Woo! DRS, a little bit late on the activation, so up at the top of that hill, that's when we want to activate DRS. Gotta be careful about this corner as well. Okay, though. Not too bad so far. Got Vettel up in front of us. He didn't do so hot today in the, the, the real Grand Prix. Whew. That's kind of a challenging little section there. I don't know if I like that. Got DRS in front of us. DRS it. 
Looks like we're gonna have a P5. Nice job. I mean, not bad. We'll take it. I think we're gonna have our work cut out for us this race, though. I, I really do. For tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid: Verstappen, Vettel, and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. All right. Live and to the main event we go. Let's get it, baby. This is gonna be a good one. What does the Spanish Grand Prix have in store for us today, I wonder? I hope we see some tight wheel-to-wheel -wheel action down the main straight, circa Mansell and Senna way back in 91, or maybe we'll have a more strategic race here on a track where overtaking can be difficult. Okay. The circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia, a track that will certainly force the drivers to push themselves. It consists of a very impressive main straight going into turn one. It's a straight that also offers a DRS zone, so it's likely to be a hot spot for overtakes. 16 turns, dude, we're, we're going to be in for a good one. I'm Joining excited for this. For Grand Prix once again is Anthony Davidson. With right. the race minutes away going to skip over starting. Anthony Davidson in the lineup. We know how that goes. Here we go, fellas. Let's get up on the wheel and let's make this happen. Okay, you've qualified higher than we expected, so let's try to build on this position throughout the race. Let's get our RPMs up to around 11,000. Not our best start ever. In fact, I think Verstappen's start today may have been, may have been a little bit better, but uh, we're gonna be okay. Here we go. Can we take anything on the outside, maybe? Nope. We're gonna fall back into seven. I'm not too upset by it. It's not, not the worst thing that's ever happened to us. Maybe on the inside up here? No, that's not going to work either. Shoot. This is going to be a hard track, isn't it, dude? We are going to have our work cut out for us today. That's all right, though. I welcome a nice challenge. Botas and Gasly are still wheel to wheel this far into the race. Maybe, oh. Shoot. We actually got a... Almost spun out right there. We're okay though. All right, people are falling into line. Try to go around the outside. Late break, maybe, maybe, maybe. Got him. Let's go. Get out of here, Gasly. Dude, we gotta watch out for that corner right there. That one is pretty gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. Whew. All right. Let's get in our line. Let's do our thing and let's try to catch back up with these leaders. We're in P6 at the end of the first lap. We started P5, so, I mean, hate to give up a spot, but it's also not the worst thing in the world. Starting to catch up to these pools just a little bit. Oh, I don't like that corner, dude. That thing, it, every time I come around it, I, it doesn't look that bad, but for whatever reason, it just, maybe it's the, the elevation of it. it. It makes my car want to spin out every single time. I got to kind of like very softly work our way around it. We're coming around to uh, to close out lap two here. DRS is going to be enabled. I don't see that they're slow, sir, but whatever you want to say. Anyway, I, I, did it pop up? The DRS is now enabled. That should help us out if we can catch up a bit more. Man. Whoa, I started to spit out again right there. Dude, I hate that corner. We got to start being really careful around that corner. If we're pushing it one of these times and not paying attention, we're going to be so screwed. Might be able to do something on the straight here. Who knows? Come on, baby. Got it? I can't catch him in a straight line. We're leading our teammate by 4.9 seconds. I can't, I can't beat these guys in a straight line. So we're going to start trying to get him on the corners. Whew. Dude, it's just the problem is you never really know where they're gonna go, so I don't I don't want to end up just ramming into the back of them. We did oh, little dirty, little dirty, but whatever. We did it. Good, good job, nice overtake. We increased the uh, the damage thing, so it's not on simulation. Simulation is the highest one, but we turned it to uh, like regular or normal or whatever it's called. We definitely have to be a lot more careful around these cars. Make sure that we aren't running into things because otherwise that's going to put us in a really bad spot. And we saw that in our last race. 
And I gotta make sure I remember where that pit box is, that pit lane is. This is where we got Botas in the last, the last lap. Not gonna work on Hamilton. Gotta be careful here, this is that sketchy corner. Whoa, dude, it's, I don't know. Are you supposed to power through it? I feel like powering through it would be a really bad idea. Holding strong in fifth. Box this lap, please. Almost took out Hamilton there if we wouldn't have gone to the right. Okay, so we're gonna be boxing here soon. We'll just go ahead and let this play out until we box. I remember it was kind of an odd spot. I mean, it was right before that last little straight. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this at all. Now, last episode, we had a pit infraction. So we're gonna make sure we don't speed in the pits and get a five second penalty this time. <sighs> stressful, stressful race, fellas. Complete, go now. 2.7 second pit, not bad. Let's be ready to take this pit limiter off. We're gonna be by ourselves. No more scheduled pit stops. Gonna be kind of a, a boring little section of the race here considering we have nobody else to work with. Uh, one thing we gotta be careful of though is that one corner. That corner that wants to flip us around. The Jeff guy or whatever his name is, like the your kind of like manager, handler, like tip giver type guy. He even emailed us, I forgot to read the email before the race, but he emailed us and he said that that turn tends to make your car want to switch in, so you got to be careful on it the entire time. It's this one right here. So we just got to be a little extra careful about that, and we should be okay. Try to put in the fastest time and make our way up with this pack. So quite a few cars pitted here. Ooh, we've got some people entering the track. This should be interesting. Got to be careful. Want to be quick and get around them. That's Valtteri here. He went in for his stop. All right, so now we have somebody to chase again. I kind of prefer that. I mean, you get... Car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. You get the DRS. You get the slipstreams. You have somebody to kind of judge yourself off of. Granted, I can't brake as late as I would like to in a lot of situations, but... The gap to the car behind is 7.7 .7 seconds. It gives you a, a focal point to judge your racing off of and see how you're doing. <sighs> I, hate, I hate that corner. I don't know what to do with it. That is so freaking challenging. It gives me anxiety every single time. Got DRS on Botas here. I'm going to go for a pass, I think. Whoa. Oh, baby. Whew. We got around him. Oh, my goodness. We had people coming out of the pits there, too. That was terrifying. We're at, ahead of Leclerc now. We've got Hamilton in front of us. Dude, I am gripping the steering wheel so hard, I just realized I am, like, straight white knuckling it. Oh, my goodness. This game is so intense. I'm actually, I'm curious... I'm gonna, I have my Apple Watch on and it measures your heart rate. I'll have to look at what my heart rate was throughout this race. This corner is our best corner because we break late and take it wide and we usually catch these guys a bit. Hamilton's gonna be a tough cookie to crack though. I feel like we're closing the gap a little bit. Here comes this nerve wracking corner. I kind of just like want to let it coast through here. I, I, I lift. I feel like we lose time on that section every lap, but I, I can't. I'm no expert on that. I, I don't know where we should be and, and how we prevent ourselves from spinning out. I would rather lose a couple seconds than lose a couple places. Can the DRS do anything for us here? I mean, we are starting to catch up to him a little bit. Charles Leclerc is behind us posting fastest laps. Locked up a little bit there. Ah, we should be in a good spot to make a move on this next lap though, as long as we keep it somewhat close here. We're good. Shoot, yeah, see, we were, we were right on him and he totally, totally extended that lead a little bit. We're right on him though. Here we go, boys. This is, this is gonna be it. You ready to pass Hamilton? Woo, it's happening. 
It is 100% happening here. Get that DRS on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Got him. Oh, baby, let's go. So we've got Verstappen and Vettel up ahead of us. I'm feeling like Verstappen out here, man. Dropping down to... I think he his lowest was P7. I think that... Mm, ours was probably P6. But then coming back through the race and actually ending up... Hopefully getting the win. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I think that's kind of a tall tall order for us. But we do have quite a few laps to go. So let's, let's just keep pushing. I mean, we kind of... Kind of caught up to Verstappen here as well, boys. I really enjoy this track we have we have killed it on this track absolutely smashed it brilliant nice move absolutely smashed it here we're up into second place and we got our eyes on the prize and the best part is is we're gonna have drs and he is not Woo, what's up mr vettel you and I have had uh, quite a quite a history so far. It's only my first year in F1, but you and I have had multiple scuffles, multiple incidents, and I'm so happy to potentially be taking this this victory from you here on hard difficulty. I will say that I think it's probably time to up it. Could probably move to to at least 65, if not 70. Let's see if we can make this pass here. Front, but we need to look after the tires. There it is, boys. That first place position. Now I gotta manage the tires, manage the fuel, manage everything else, and make sure we can make it all the way back home in one piece. Shoot, now he's gonna have DRS, though. Oh, looking behind us, just got us caught a little bit. There's five laps of fuel remaining. That is not ideal. Whew. Five laps of fuel with four laps to go. Might be able to swap to that rich, rich mixture. Shoot, dude, I didn't even think about that. Without DRS, we aren't going to be the man that's moving up the ranks. We're going to have to fight for every everything we've got here. Come on, baby. He's going to catch us. I'm going to stay to the outside because I think I might be able to get him back on the outside. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Top ten? I'm in the top two, bro. Shoot. So this is just going to be a game of leapfrog every lap. This is not the position I want to be in. Going to keep it close. Be smart. Don't break a wing. We're just going to wait. We're just going to pass him. So we have three laps left. If I pass him on 14, or technically 14, 15, we have four laps left. Including this one. Ooh, got loose there. So, if I pass him on 14, he'll pass me on 15. I'll pass him on 16. He'll pass me on 17. So, we want to wait a lap. Or we could just wait till the last lap and really get ballsy with it. And just see if we can go all for broke on the last one. What do you guys think? The problem is, is he's gonna have he's gonna have newer tires because we were the pretty much the first person to pit. We were the exact first person to pit. We always are, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so he's gonna have fresher tires. He's gonna have better grip. We don't necessarily want to pass him here. I, I really don't think we do. But if we have to, I'll just go for it, dude. I don't even know that we're gonna get him here. He left a space. He's no Max Verstappen. Oh! Sorry to Verstappen fans. Bro, Hamilton got a piece of me. I didn't even realize he was beside me like that. Bro. Okay. So here I was thinking that we were going to have to sandbag, and now all of a sudden we're back in third place. Whew. This is an intense one, boys. Every time we do a lap and we come around back through here with less grip on our tires, it makes me a little concerned. Okay. 
Got our DRS on. Verstappen's in the hunt behind us for sure. Ooh, that was perfect. Okay, the boots aren't looking too warm at this point. We should have plenty of life left in them. Let's make sure we keep managing them properly. Come on, baby. Hit this DRS right away. Are we going to be able to catch these boys? Shoot, this is not good. Bro, I'm going to get... Come on. I was going to say I'm going to get aggressive with Vettel after this corner. Didn't really work, though. Let's stay in this draft here. Kind of got out of it a bit. Shoot, this is... Dude, this is a tough one. I can't believe that we got passed by Vettel and then immediately passed by Hamilton. We should have been paying more attention. We should have covered that a little bit better. We gave him an opening. He took it and he put us in kind of a bad spot. At the same time, we're going to take what we learned yesterday and we're going to be okay with the podium finish. We do not need to take first. We really don't. It would be nice if we can be smart and make our way up there that I'm totally down. But we absolutely do not need... A first place so we don't need to race too aggressively we don't need to throw away what we have I mean that's like an old Aesop's fable you know what I mean let's not be that dog that has the ham and he's holding it looking in the lake and he tries to get the second ham and ends up losing everything come on baby this is your final lap final lap of the race I can't even catch these boys now they're pulling off pulling away Vettel takes it back from Hamilton, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe they can both wreck for me. That would be awfully convenient. Maybe Lewis and I can squeeze out Vettel. Nope, I can't keep up with that corner. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Hamilton's just made a move for first. Oh, God. I went for it. Shoot, Verstappen is right behind us, too, dude. This is insane. This would be such a crazy race if this was real. Oh, my God. Way late. Way late on that. My bad. My bad. I was pushing, not paying attention. We're okay. I don't think we're going to be able to make a move here, dude. We don't have any more DRS zones. It's just a couple of corners to the, the finish line. Let's just let's just take third. Let's take the podium. This one I truly feel like we earned. I feel like we raced really, really well. Uh, better than most. And I I don't know, dude. I'll take it. Can't complain about that one. That was an excellent drive. Wow. I'm stressed. I mean, that, that's on the hard. That's on the hard difficulty. We just started playing this game this week, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. We're definitely going to move it up for the next race. See what we can do. from the competition today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes. You're race winners today. That should have been me up on top, dude. It really should have been. Hamilton freaking, oh man, he had some great driving at the end of that one. I was, I was surprised at how he got around us there, but uh, hey, a Haas on the podium, feels good, man. We're out here. Fantastic podium, well done. Keep pushing like this for the rest of the season.